welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Today is just going to be a quick review video on some brushes that I found on Amazon. Now in my last video I mentioned that I was ready to do a review on them and I think I've used them long enough to do so. So here we are. Um, like I said, I found these on Amazon. I have been so happy and so, um, you know, <laughs> pleased. The way that these brushes has not only held up but also performed and helped me with my nail art because i am really wanting to um you know practice more on nail art um i think it's really fun relaxing um and all that so yeah i really want to improve on that and these has helped me out a lot and i will make sure to link these down in the description box now if you've been watching my channel and um a few videos back i had another set that i found and the only reason why I haven't did an update on those is because I did not like them. At first I did. I really, really did. But then just some stuff has happened to them. Like the, it's, I'll get into that. So, but anyways, so here they are. They do come in different colors. So I chose these. I just thought these were just so cute. It's got the pink going into the blue. I just thought they were really, really pretty. Um, and what I really like about these as well, I will just take, this is the longest. So each one has a different size brush. And this is, I think it's the 20 mm, but I'm not really sure, but there, there's that. That's how long it is. So that's the long striper brush. But if you look very closely, if my camera will focus, you see this little piece right here? This little, come on, focus camera. Come on, focus, focus. <laughs> oh, this is so annoying but anyways if you see right here I just thought that was so genius like this right here really helps the bristles to stay straight and keeps them from um, flaring out I guess is the word I'm looking for oh, I just really wish my camera would focus there we go I'm going to leave it right there I'm going to try not to move but yeah, you see that piece there? I just thought that was really genius of whoever made these brushes to add that little piece of um, detail to it. So, like I mentioned, um, they come in different sizes. So this is the longest. And what I really, really enjoy is like how these lids fit so well and does not interfere with the bristles at all. But you still wanna be careful. You don't wanna slam them in there. So you still wanna put them in there quite slowly. But they're, they're on there. They don't pop off or anything like that. So, like I said, that was that one. Now, these ain't numbered on the outside. So, what I did was I took a Sharpie marker, which I wish I would have used, like, the pin, like, the fine point. And I didn't have it at that moment, so I just used the regular Sharpie. But you see this middle piece here? I don't know if it's going to show up because it's very small, but I numbered it. So, um, this one's number five since it is the... The largest so they they do come in a set together I think I paid um, twenty dollars for these brushes um, but yeah so that one's number five so like I said I am they're not numbered but I went ahead and number numbered them myself so that way whenever I'm reaching for a certain size I'm not having to you know pull the um, lids off all of them till I find it I can just look right there at the numbers so this one here is number three and they're not in order because I just grabbed them out my thing but that's what that one looks like and like I said all of them has that little piece of um, a, like an um, extension there like metal extension and it really helps the bristles stay in place so they're just they don't go in all different directions and if there's time I really I was going to do a demonstration using one of these um, just to show you how well they perform. This one here, I believe, is number, this one might be number two. There's one in here that rubbed off. So I'm gonna say that one might be number two, but so there's that one. And then, then you have this one here. And I need to clear. 
clean this one. I just used it a while ago and forgot to clean it. And I'll also show you how I um, prep my brushes when I first get them and how I keep them clean. And hold on just a second. Somebody's calling. I'll, re I'll be back for the last one. All right. Sorry about that. The phone was ringing. And now, where was we? I think we was left off on this last one, I think. So, yeah. This is the last one. I think this is number... Yeah. I should have used a ballpoint Sharpie instead of a regular Sharpie because it just... Um, the numbers are wearing off. But there's that one there. So I'll go ahead and take the list of all these. Just to show you. Let me see if I can put them in order. Maybe. So there's that one. There's this. Okay. So this one's that one. Hopefully you guys can see. I don't want to get too close to the camera because it, it always wants to lose focus. So it would be that one. And then the last one is this long one there. Okay. So... And it does show the sizes. When you get um, on the Amazon and you go to them, it will show you the sizes that they are. So, that's them there. And I'm going to show you why I never <laughs> went back or did a review on these other brushes. Because I do still have them. Now, remember when I mentioned about how I liked how the lids fit? Let me show you what these did. Okay, so I had these. You probably remember them if you've been watching my videos. And I'll be honest, at first, I loved them. Like, they, they worked nice. They were, like, the perfect size. But, these lids, and it's the lids. And I'm not going to list these because it's, you know. These lids, for one, on, let's see which one it is. I guess, yeah. That one does not stay. And look. Okay, so these, these came together. So I'm going to put those to the side. I'm just going to scoosh them over there. Okay, so you got this one, right? It's alright so far. This one really, I didn't really use this one that much. So I never really took it in and out of the lid. But I'm going to show you these two. These two I use the most, right? And just after a couple uses, I'm going to show you what the lids did. This is from the lids. It's not from me. This is definitely from the lids. So after I used them and I would run them through... Um, you know clear gel and all that I would put them in there and you know put the lid on and this is what would happen these lids I don't know they don't have they're not made to fit this well and look what it did so that one did it and then look at that one and I have dunked these in boiling hot water I had run them through, you know, like, you know how you like when you clean them, you're supposed to run them and then twirl them and stuff like that. I've done, I've done everything and they're just out. They, they will not go back to normal. Like they still have gel, clear gel. I shouldn't be touching it, but they still have clear gel in them where I try to clean them. And yeah, so for this reason, I'm not going to list these. They need to fix these lids. Like that is my opinion, but. Yeah, I'm not very happy about that. And I think the only reason why this one didn't do it is because I didn't go off. I didn't um, use that one as much, so it stayed in the lid. But yeah, I'm not going to list these, so that's why I'm not happy. As far as the bristles and everything, they didn't shed, they didn't fall out, or anything like that. But they they need to work on these lids because yeah, that's that's not it. So. These right here, I will list them. I am so happy with my purchase. Like I said, you get five brushes for 20 bucks. So if you're on a hunt for a good nail brush and you're not ready to spend, because I've been searching like on Instagram and Googling and everything. So I know one brush can go between $13 all the way up to $20 a piece. So if you're not really ready to go that route quite yet, but you still want to get a good quality nail brush, I highly, highly, highly recommend these. And I will, like I said, I'll list them. And they, like I said, they all come in different colors. So you can get this set. They come in silver. They come, I think, black. And they come in, um, I'm not really sure. <laughs> you just have to look. Like, my mind just went blank. But I think they come with, with, with them, like, maybe four to five color scheme. So... Um, if I can't, let me see what, where am I at right now? I'll probably go ahead and demonstrate using one of them just to show you how, how the lines work with them, how, how well they do the line work 
and then I'll be right back. So before I show you how to, um, or how they um, work, I thought why not show you how I prep my brushes, clean them and all that, especially like when you first get them because they will have like that um, protective powdery stuff that keeps them in shape that you must remove before using them. So the first thing I do is you want, I, this is the way I do it, you don't have to do it my way, but the way I do it is I do get like a, uh, a cup of uh, boiling water and this is what's in this bowl right now and um and then i you want to get some uh base gel you can use any base gel you want but i got this right here from young nails and this is what i use so you want to get some of that and then this is the brush that i need to clean so i'm gonna go ahead and do that so the first thing you do is when you first get them like i said you want to dip it you don't want to you know run it around or not you just want to dip the bristles in just for a few seconds that way that powdery stuff will loosen up And if you want to twirl it, you can. But you don't want to like run it up against the sides of the um, the bowl or anything like that. You just want to just dip it in there. Let it sit a little bit. I don't use soap or anything. I just use plain water because I don't want to get any oils on the bristles. So you do that, and then then what I do is I just take a palette, or you can take like a paper towel, and just run it through. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and. Let's just say that this is brand, brand new. Take that. Once you dip it in there for a few seconds, take it. And then when you're running it back, you wanna keep twirling it. Just keep turning it around. That way it keeps it to a fine point. You don't wanna go like that or this or anything like that because you will mess your bristles up for sure. So just do that and you just keep doing that. And then you should be able to fill the powder or whatever that they use. And then once your bristles are, you know, movable, because they'll be stiff at first. Once they're flexible and you can move them. Just want to keep doing that. And always go into circular motion. That's what I do anyways. And then once you're satisfied, since, I mean, I've already used this brush, so I don't have to go through. The whole step but that's what you want to do until that powder it feels like the powder is loose and, it, and the bristles are movable <laughs> softened then you just take i'm going to use it out of this lid so you want to take and run your bristles you want to saturate it in gel and you don't want to you know stab at it or anything like that <clears throat> just take it and twirl it in there and then I just take my palette and just do the same thing and pull. All right, as I'm pulling, I'm also turning. And this will keep your bristles, um, I guess, what is it, moisture, moisturized? Or I'm not really sure the term, but. It just keeps them, it keeps them in place, basically. And so, that's what it's looking like. And then when you're satisfied with it, and then you just put the cap on it really nicely, slowly. And then you're ready to use it whenever you're ready for it. So that's how I prep my brushes when I first get them and after. So hopefully that helps out a little bit because that just pretty much keeps them um, in shape, basically. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and get everything ready and be back and show you, you know, um, I'm not going to use all of them because, I mean, they're all used for something different, but I will just pick one and show you how they work. I'll be right back. Okay, so I changed my mind. I decided to go ahead and demonstrate four of the sizes out of the five. I'm not going to use the smallest size, but these are the sizes that I decided to go ahead and use in this nail art today. Um, nothing 
Um, behind the nail art is just a demonstration and how well these uh, perform making lines. I've got my collars right here that I chose. I done got Miss Evelyn here already with her base collar down, which I used, if you're wondering, is from Nail Reserve and it's called Cutie Pie. And yeah, I'll probably just go ahead and throw some music on because when I work, I don't really like to talk because I get um, sidetracked. And yeah, so I'll go ahead and throw some music on while you watch these brushes go into action and I'll be back at the end. guys so here is miss evelyn with her nail design now i there wasn't nothing behind it i just wanted to demonstrate how well the brushes perform and as you can see there very nice crisp lines that they made now this is the brush right here that i did not use but as you can tell it's very very tiny so um yeah i didn't use that one but i did use these four and I thought they came out really nice. I did kind of mess up on that, but that was my fault. Um, I had some coffee, and the rule is never drink coffee before doing nail art. And unfortunately, I didn't listen to that, and I had a cup of cup of coffee. And I'm kind of a little shaky, so. But overall, I am so happy with these brushes. I'm very blessed that I found them. Um, 
I will let you know in the near future how well they um, have held up. But for now, since I've had them for about two weeks and I have been using them almost every day, um, just about, they, I think they've held up really nicely. <clears throat> I'm really, really happy that they did this little um, extra detail right here with this little, I don't know what you would call that, but I think that has a lot to do with keeping the brushes intact. So I just thought that was really cool. So yeah, if you um, are in a hunt for any nail art brushes, I will make sure to link these in the description box for you guys. Go check them out. And like I said, they come in other colors as well. And if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. And also check out my link tree for any discount codes I may have for you guys. And I will catch you in the next video. I love you guys. Uh, keep well and stay safe.